Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope your day is going good. Well, um, the day is like over. It is 11.22, 11.55. Yes, 22, I live 11 55. Um, It's 11.22 where I live. And I know this craziness has been going around and it's totally crazy, um, super boring. Um, yeah, so, Today I have a really cool video, but it's not very cool. So, my dog is right here. So if you can hear him, just, yeah. <laughs> um, excuse my bed, it's just a mess. So today I am going to be doing, wait, before I even tell you what I'm going to be doing, make sure you go like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified every time I make a video in Five, four, three, two, one. Hope it did it, because if you didn't do it, then you're not part of the family. So make sure you go join the family. All right, so now I can tell you what we're going to be doing. So today I have what you're going to be needing for your horse. So if you're buying a horse, I don't have a horse, but, you know, I haven't vlogged in a while, and I thought I just, I couldn't think of video ideas, and I'm really sorry, but bunch of stuff has been going on and I usually am doing nothing on Sundays and Saturdays is when I usually vlog. I just have nothing going on and I am going to be having a new squad. So, um, but after all this is over, hopefully I can show you some of the members. One, so far I only have one member. Two mem one of the other member is not allowed on YouTube, just to totally understand that. But, um, uh, my other friend, she will be, I guess, part of the squad. And we're only going to have her, so I guess it's not really a squad, but, you know, it'll be another person there to vlog with me. So, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm just doing that, and we're going to get on to the video. So, the first thing that you're going to be needing, whether you're picking it up or um, the horse is coming to you, you're going to need a halter. Now, a halter is a necessity. You have to have at least a halter, at least one halter and one lead rope. If you want to be on the safe side, you should have two halters and two lead ropes in case something happens to one of them. Um, so that's basically what you're going to need. I'm going to show you an example. I don't own a horse, so um, you can judge me all you want because I might get some things wrong, but I have been doing a lot of research and so I can do this video. So I've done lots of research, um, so yeah, I think I, I think I'll be okay. But this is my halter, halter and lead rope. Um, this is a humongous halter, so it can be super small on a small horse, and super big on a big horse. So, and then this is an eight feet rope, I think. Yeah. So I'll also do another video of how to tie knots because a lot of people have been asking me how I do that, and I will show you guys because it's super easy and also it looks super good. So. The next thing you're going to be needing is somewhere to keep your horse, whether it's boarding or you're building a place or you already have a place. Now, it doesn't have to be at your place because I know I live in a neighborhood where they don't allow horses, A, and B, my, I swear, our backyard is the size of my bedroom, so we can't keep it there. There's tons of grass, but it'd be perfect for grass-wise, but just... No. Um, so we're going to keep it at my grandpa's house, like if we ever do get one, um, which we were going to get one, but then it needs a companion and we just can't afford a companion. So then we looked shelters and then we thought, well, maybe we should wait until my next birthday, um, <clears throat> which honestly, to be honest, I don't want to wait, but I totally understand you need to get ready for the money and yeah so i totally understand that so i'm gonna have to wait um but you know it gives me time to research and all that kind of stuff um to learn to properly care for a horse and all that kinds of stuff because we kind of decided last minute because we were looking at a horse a dog for my uncle um and then we saw like we saw a horse named Seven Slews, I think. Seven Slews, yeah. And he was 
beautiful. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. I still have the picture of him on my phone, but I'm blocking it on my phone because I don't have a filming camera, so it's kind of bad. Um, but he's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, so if you don't know the name Slews, it is super famous. Um, so he is a thoroughbred, of course. Um, so he's like from a super famous family. So we definitely probably were going to buy him. Um, for a thoroughbred, I'm pretty sure he was an off-the-track thoroughbred, I'm not sure, for $900. That's not bad at all. Um, because they can go anywhere from $100 to $40,000, even a million dollars. It just depends on the kind of horse, and usually thoroughbreds could be the most expensive kinds, just because they race, especially if they're an off-the-track thoroughbred. Um, so, yeah, so you're going to need somewhere to place it, and somewhere where there's tons of land, at least per horse, you need three acres, um, two or three acres is preferred, so there are other houses around there, but we would let it roam wherever it wants to, because people rent there, rent from my grandpa, so they wouldn't have really a choice, but um, obviously, we would keep watch of it. Um, now, the Third most important thing is you're going to need a helmet. I know you're like, well, what if I don't want to ride it? Well, if you're around it and you're just grooming it to bond, you're going to want a helmet because you never know. They can kick you. They can bump into you like purposely, like throw their head against you. And, and they're strong. They're strong. Horses are very strong. And you could fall on your head. And if you didn't have this, you could probably break your head open or get a concussion. So I, it's not a necessity, but um, I super recommend um, getting a helmet because you just never know. Um, I know obviously kicking, they can't kick all the way up to your head, but like if you fall, you're going to fall on your head probably. And then if you do want to ride, you're going to fall. You're going to fall off a horse. Like there's no telling. You are, you are going to. Um, so... If you don't want to ride with a helmet, that's totally your choice. Um, I would say it's still safe, just not as safe without a helmet. Um, so I recommend just having a helmet, um, just sitting there, even if you don't want to use it. Um, when you're riding at your house, I would def definitely use it like during trail rides because there's lots of stuff out there. You just don't know if you could fall off. So... Uh, definitely we're making a helmet. Now we're going to get into the more important and expensive stuff. So, um, one thing is you might want to insurance your horse because you never know. They can run into a gate and they can, I don't know, their eye could be all scratched up or they can have an abscess and they could get colic and colic can go thousands of dollars it just depends on the vet but it usually is thousands and thousands of dollars an abscess um usually isn't thousands of dollars but it's still a lot so you want to insurance your horse it's not a necessity again but it is definitely something that you should think about um was well, this better <laughs> i don't think it is so um yeah and then that's just basically yeah um, oh, the first thing that you need to get after you get a halter, I forgot to put that, is a grooming kit. Um, it's your choice. You can either buy them separately at a tax store or on Amazon or Etsy, anything, and, uh, or you can just buy one kit on Amazon or anywhere. Um, I prefer, I haven't really done, I haven't bought, um, a grooming kit myself, but, uh, I don't really go to tax stores because I don't own a horse, of course, so... Um, yeah, I would probably prefer to choose my own brushes because, um, yeah, I just probably prefer to choose your own brushes, but that is a necessity. You have to get brushes. It's a way to bond. You have to keep your horse, like, first of all, it's a way to bond with your horse, a serious way to bond. Um, B, you have to keep your horse clean, that there's no way you're going to be able to ride or just have it there for like a like a field ornament um so you have to have brushes um you brushes you can buy totally before like if you're in lessons and you just 
they let you get your own stuff like saddles and stuff you can you sh should you don't have to but you could buy your own brushes um that way when you do get a horse you're ready so I'm trying to make this video kind of quick because it's already been 10 minutes. Um, so the next thing that you're going to be needing is depend. This depends on when you're buying the horse. So if you're buying the horse during the winter or spring or something when it's rain, it's really rainy. You probably are going to want. Um, definitely, you're going to be wanting a blanket or a sheet or something like that. Um, but if you're buying it in the summer, don't really worry about a blanket or sheet. Um, you could buy it, but necessarily, you're probably not going to be using it for a while. Um, but you do really want to invest in a fly mask. That is a necessity if you're getting them in summer. Um, so yeah. Usually also, um, if you're by a horse, usually they give you a halter, but it's usually not the good ones that they don't want anymore. So just, I would recommend getting a halter, um, yourself. So... Also, you have to ask them what size they are because they could be cob, they could be regular horse, they could be pony. So it just it all depends. Um, yeah. So the next big thing is probably buckets. Buckets you're going to use every day. You're going to need it for feed. You're going to need it for water. And if you don't use a barrel, like not a barrel, um, a wheelbarrow to clean up the poop, they're probably going to use a bucket. Um, because wheelbarrows are just super expensive and buckets work perfectly fine. So um, you could use a bucket for scraping poop up, um, cleaning, washing up your horses to keep your brushes in, just even other stuff. Um, so that's definitely a good thing to invest in um, when you're buying the horse. So I would probably get to about three buckets. Um, obviously, some of this stuff you can get as you go. A lot of this stuff you don't have to get right then and there. Because then it's just going to cost thousands of dollars for all of this stuff in one setting. And then you have to buy the horse. So horses can range anywhere from the hundreds all the way to millions. Um, that's crazy, but that's just how it is. Um, I would say they're probably one of the most expensive animals. Um, not in the world, but just most expensive. Um, so I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get on with the list. So... I didn't make a list, but I just have it in my head. So, what did I say? Blankets. Yes. So, um, another thing that you're going to be needing, what I'm trying to think, um, buckets, a stall. A stall is a super necessity or a shelter. So, my grandpa does have this place where he keeps all his tractors, um, which is probably where we keep the horse. Um, we probably wouldn't put a gate in, but we could probably, like, we could put a gate in but it would kind of take a while so that way it could be its stall no sorry guys hold on guys My mom just walked in, sorry. Um, so um yeah, you want a stall to place it in and then um that is basically the necessities. Um hay. You want hay. My grandpa already sells hay, so he would either give it give it to us for free, um, or he would let us like slip a little cheaper. Um, so, yeah. Also, you might want to buy boots or something, whatever you want. Um, you're going to need a vet, you're going to need a farrier, you're, you're going to need, um, um, a teeth cleaner, a, den a dentist for your horse. Also, once a year, they do get their teeth floated. Um, floated, if you don't know what floated means, floated means, um, Whenever they chew, um, sometimes it, like, how do you say it? It files down their teeth, so then there's, like, pointy, like, their teeth are pointy instead of, like, straight, so they become pointy, so they need to get their teeth floated. Um, so that's basically what floated means. So, I gotta sneeze. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm still trying to figure out how to edit videos, so a lot of this, like, not needed stuff like sneezing. 
is gonna be in this video because I'm still trying to figure out how to edit. It's just, uh, and this video probably isn't gonna get edited for a while because it's 11.36 at night, so. <laughs> um, also, you might want a trough. You might want a water trough. Um, I'm not gonna invest in a water trough just because it's just, you don't need a water trough. And if you don't need a water trough, it just gets so much algae in it and it can kill your horse. Algae, a uh, water trough just doesn't, it, it makes me nervous. Um, Cause usually you're gonna wanna clean it out about every day um, for algae not to get in it. So that's, it's not a necessity, but you can invest in it. Um, now tack, let's move on to tack. So tack, you do not wanna buy before you get a horse. If you already do have tack, um, use it, but use it for a limited time because their shoulders, they need space to walk or trot because if it's on their shoulders and it doesn't fit properly on their back, then it's going to be uncomfortable for them to walk and they're going to walk like this instead of stretching their, um, excuse me, <laughs> guys, this is what I'm saying. I need to learn how to edit it because burps like that. Nobody wants to hear that. Hear that. So, um, what was I even saying? Um, oh yeah, um, it just keeps them from that. So usually you want to ask. Usually you don't. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. Usually you want to wait till you get the horse, like a month after. That way you know the horse well and you know um, what size and what size you are and what will fit your horse comfortably. Um, now a girth, I'm not super sure about a girth, but usually it's just like their size of girth. Now a bridle, you don't have to use a bit. Um, I would not prefer a bit just because it depends on the horse. Some horses, they throw their head up um, and it just gets annoying and sometimes you're going to need help. And if you're riding and nobody's out there, it's just you, everybody's in the house and you're going to need help. You're going to have to like just leave your horse there. Um, sorry about that. I had a little battery. Um, you're going to go inside. You're going to need to go inside. Probably going to get a drink of water before you even ask. And then you're going to forget what you're going to ask. And it's just going to take forever. So um usually i don't prefer a bit also it just it it just it just depends on the kind of horse um some horses they'll throw their head up and it just no that kind of horse don't get a bit um but if the, the horse just opens their mouth and lets you put it in bits are fine with them um so yeah um now i'm trying to think of other things um I need, really need to make a list. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, there's just more that goes on to having a horse. Um, hay nets. You're definitely going to want hay nets. Um, you don't need hay nets, but it's just better. Like when you're tacking them up or, in, or they're in the trailer, it's just better than just plopping the hay somewhere. Um, also, you want a trailer. Whether you're renting one, it's preferably better to own one than to rent one because what if you want to go camping and you can only use the, a renting trailer for a minimum of time so you usually you want to buy your own trailer but it also is okay to rent one because um it's probably gonna be a while like if I get a horse um a trailer will probably have to be a waiting thing kind of thing um it would probably be my Christmas present, my birthday present, my next Christmas present, my next birthday present, because they're just so expensive. Also, just keep in mind, your birthdays and Christmases are going to be like more like, hey, Zoe, what does your horse need? Instead of, hey, Zoe, what do you want for Christmas? It's going to be more of like a, hey, what does your horse need? <laughs> also, aka, what did, what do you want for your horse? Um, So... To me, that kind of seems exciting because there's just so much to owning a horse. Um, but if you're willing to do stuff to own one, which I totally am, and I wish I could have a job to help, which I'm definitely going to be using. 
all this money on a horse eventually. Um, so I want to help as much as I can because they're really expensive, but they just, it's like they make your life better. Um, for me, at least, it's just like being around horses is like, I don't know. It's just like your healer. Like if you've been through a lot, it's, it's just easy to go out and sit with a horse um, or just go on a nice ride in the sunset or whatever. So, um, it's just, oh, I love the thought of having a horse. I think about it every day. It just excites me so much. But, you know, sometimes you gotta wait. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give this a like, <laughs> a like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And, yeah. Good night.